Hello everyone and welcome to Finance JCL. Objective is to help you on your journey to financial freedom. And today's topic is the personal finance area. So that's kind of the, the red series. So any of my videos you see with the red thumbnail fall into this category. And I'm aggregating to playlist. But the mortgages is the topic and why should you overpay your mortgage? What are the benefits? I'll explain my golden rules as well. So stay tuned for that because uh, the benefits are pretty substantial. I want to start off with a few assumptions before we get into the detail. So this assumes, first of all, you do have a mortgage on your one residential property. And the reason I'm not looking at multiple properties is there may be some other tax implications. And you know, this is a relatively general subject, so I can't give you advice on tax implications. So you've got a mortgage on your own residential property. And actually that your mortgage type allows overpayment. So do check your terms and conditions to ensure that that is the case. And I also assume that before you even consider a mortgage overpayment, generally speaking, as a good principle, you should not have any high interest debt. Your mortgage type is a standard repayment mortgage, so not an interest only, for example. And again, I'm assuming you've got an emergency fund, so good principle is to have a number of months worth of your expenses in instantly accessible cash or cash equivalent, just in case of unexpected costs or emergencies. Now, for me, I like to keep uh, six months worth, and I, and I have that. Various people um, different figures some people say three some people say 12 you just need to tweak that based on your own individual circumstances uh, i'm also assuming that before you even start overpaying your mortgage it should fit within your budget that you have for each year and you have taken financial advice for your own circumstance so that whatever i say going forward in the show here is assuming that this is right for you based on financial advice that you have taken yourself. Cool. So the benefits of overpaying, and I think they're potentially quite substantial. So the first one is a time benefit. So your mortgage could be paid off more quickly by overpaying. And that's quite a, a neat fact in itself. So let's say, for example, your mortgage was to be paid when you're 65 and you're due to retire at 65. That would be a nice kind of coincidence that you're paying a mortgage for your whole working life. Now, if you're able to overpay and pay it off five years early and you could pay it off, let's say, at 60, you then have a couple of options. Perhaps you might want to retire five years earlier at 60. Or perhaps you stick with your 65. Then you have five years where you could reduce your income or save more because of the fact you're no longer paying a mortgage. So there's some, a lot of flexibility is given by paying off the mortgage more quickly and that peace of mind to know that you own your home where you live your residential property and it's entirely in your name as there's a good amount of peace of mind with that second key benefit is the financial one of interest saving so you will save quite a large amount of interest by overpaying the mortgage and the impact of the interest saving is higher earlier you do it in the process if you start overpaying from day one you're going to get a much bigger benefit than if you're overpaying 10 years in although you still will gain a benefit from doing that and the other key benefit of overpaying is basically current low market interest rates the interest amount that you save by overpaying will actually often beat your bank account interest rates or your savings accounts interest rates and therefore actually it's more a better alternative potentially than those things again assume you've got that emergency fund in place uh, outside of that equation now there are further benefits and this applies to the uk market i don't know how it works in other countries but we have something here called ltv which is loan to value and that's essentially the ratio of your mortgage versus the value of your property now both those things are changing every month although usually not dramatically but most mortgages are fixed for a period of time, so two years, five years, even 10 years, perhaps in other circumstances. 
And when you get to the end of that rate, you may wish to remortgage to refix your mortgage again. So you know that the interest rate won't change over that period of the fix. Now, if, for example, you have a situation where you have a 61% LTV loan to value, and that means your mortgage is worth 61% uh, of what the property is worth, an overpayment to take that to below 60% may actually then take you into the next kind of bracket for loan to value with the mortgage lender and that means your interest rate going forward could be lower so do check this um, when you do get to that point of potentially refixing assume you want to refix your mortgage to a fixed rate if the loan to value banding be dropped to the next band by an overpayment lump sum you might get a better interest rate so therefore either you end up paying less or you can overpay by more in the future so there's a there's a double benefit there not just the immediate interest saving there's some key things to note so those are the key benefits but the key things to note around this are most people this is for the uk market i can't can't speak for others you can overpay generally speaking 10 percent of the mortgage amount per year if you're on a fixed rate you absolutely must check that in the terms and conditions for your mortgage and contact your your mortgage or mortgage broker if that's unclear for you and if you do breach that threshold there are often fees it could be one two or three percent of the mortgage It'd be a substantial penalty if you overpay by too much and that does include ending your entire mortgage early as well Now the flip side, if, if you're on the SVR, which is the standard variable rate, so that's almost like you've got to the end of a fixed period and you're just um, on your lender's variable rate, which is generally a bit higher and it moves with the uh, Bank of England base rate. Generally speaking, in those circumstances, you can't overpay an unlimited amount. And I've had this situation in the past where actually I've got to the end of a fixed period on my mortgage, my last house. And I knew that I was likely to be selling the house within the next 12 months. So I did not refix. Instead, I paid a higher amount for several months uh, on the standard variable rate, knowing that I would avoid the penalty for closing the mortgage early on a fixed uh, amount by overpaying it early. So you take financial advice and do some calculation on that because uh, the, the difference could be in the thousands of pounds quite easily. Now the good thing about the overpayments is there are two methods of doing them. You can overpay ad hoc lump sums, so perhaps you get to the end of your budget for the calendar year and you find that actually we've got an extra 2000 free uh, that we, um, we we didn't spend, so we're under budget, and we've got all our debt paid off and you know, we've got our emergency fund. You can just put that straight into your mortgage, generally speaking, if the overpayment's allowed. And the alternative is you may have your budget set up and you might just say every month I want to overpay, let's say 500 and you have that going each month and you can stop and start that whenever you like. And of course you could do both. So if we consider the benefits and uh, those key things, so that leads me to my golden rules. This is how I deal with mortgage overpayments. I'm not saying you should do the same, but it may help you when you're considering whether to do that and then take on your own advice. So first of all, any high interest debt for me must be paid off before the mortgage is overpaid. And that would include things that sort of double figures percentage interest rates or credit cards, unsecured debts that are at high interest rates. And also the emergency fund of six months, uh, you know, square bracket six, you may have a different number of months you like to keep. I reckon you should, one should always have at least six. Uh, that's in place in cash or equivalent form. And then I've actually agreed the overpayment as part of our household budget. So uh, both myself and my wife, we are committed to this overpayment uh, for the whole budget year. And then each year we review that situation and tweak the amount of overpayment, assuming that, that the budget can afford that. And every time we do that, do visit a calculation site. And the calculation site, and I'll, I'll leave a link along with this video, it's whereby you can actually put in your mortgage details. You can actually see the time and interest savings by overpaying. And that's absolutely key. 
Because without that, uh, and also a graph to go with it, because without that kind of um, information, it's more of a theoretical concept. It's hard to see the benefits in, in financial terms. It's absolutely key that before taking any action, you do confirm with your lender what's possible. And what we have set up each time is there are two options when you overpay. You can either reduce your minimum payment going forward, which keeps the same duration of the mortgage. And I think the lenders prefer that. But actually what we've done is what you generally speaking should do, which is shorten the mortgage duration. So the same minimum payment occurs, but every time we overpay by the equivalent of a month, effectively, we take two months off the, uh, off the mortgage. Should have paid off a year and a half of our mortgage so far, the current property. But actually, we've paid off four and a half years in a year and a half. So actually, kind of we've knocked off three years off the mortgage by lump sum and uh, monthly repayment. Uh, and the other thing which I've seen a few people do, sometimes you can actually say, do you know what, we get we get to that remortgage point, and you've overpaid. You're ahead of the you're ahead of the curve. And then the bank will go, right then, um, let's increase your minimum monthly payment. Let's say your standard payment was 500. You've overpaid after several years. Actually, your mortgage is a lot to short in duration. You're overpaying another 500, so paying 1,000. What you don't want to do, generally speaking, is then change your mortgage so that your minimum payment is 1,000 because you've just lost your flexibility. So rather than optional overpayment of 500, top of your 500 each month which you can then stop and start or modify as you see fit and give you options you, you're just locking yourself into a thousand uh, and then you can't reduce that so that's generally uh, generally a bad move although i suppose it forces you to finish your mortgage early so those are the golden rules and we'll just have a quick look at the calculation website that i use which is the money saving expert site Okay, so on the Money Saving Expert Mortgage Overpayment Calculator, so that's www.moneysavingexpert.com. I really like this, uh, this calculator, it's very clear. So first of all, you'd input your current mortgage debt. So I've used an example here of 310,000 with 28 years remaining. It's a standard repayment mortgage with the interest rate at 1.99%. And we just put in here a recurring overpayment of £1,000 every month. But one could also put in a lump sum percentage or pounds. The calculation is that on this uh, th theoretical 310000 mortgage with 28 years remaining, in a normal situation, this would take you know, 28 years to pay off. And the normal repayment would be 1200 per month. By overpaying a thousand, which is uh, you know, it's not quite 100 percent, but it's, it's reasonably close. This 28 years would actually be paid off 14 years and seven months early, so you'd pay it off in less than half the time, even though you're not doubling the amount of payment. So there's obviously a benefit or gain in there. Uh, so, amazingly, the um, interest saved is 51,000 by overpaying paying it off early so that's a huge amount of money and you can see if you, if you are watching on youtube there's a graphical format here which really illustrates how amazing which overpayment can be just look down this table so if, if you were 10 years after being in this position with the mortgage if you didn't overpay it at all your three hundred ten thousand after 10 years would be two hundred eighteen thousand. you would have paid off around about a third just under a third but with overpayment, it's only 85,000, which is, which is absolutely incredible. So you paid off then uh, well over two thirds. So the benefits of overpayment are from a financial perspective, potentially very substantial, paying things off earlier, and then also the interest savings. If you think about the interest saving of 50,000, 51,000 in this case, and you have a normal monthly payment of 1,200. If you do a little calculation, that's effectively three and a half to four years, three and a half years of um, mortgage payment in itself saved. That's uh, very impressive.
that's the calculator. Um, I'd always recommend doing these kind of sums to ensure that you understand the benefits of any potential overpayments that you may or may not do. Okay, so just to finish off, a couple of points to share with you. I've got a couple of links, uh, one to Quidco, and one to Numerous, where you could potentially earn a bit of extra cash for yourself. And that would also benefit me if you use my links. And the Quidco one is a gateway to online purchasing at the vast majority of um, online retailers. And then you're able to earn cash back yourself by using that gateway. And Numerous is a, is a new app it's a very exciting business and with that you are able to answer some questions and you choose what questions you answer and you get tailored offers for yourself in the area of for example TV packages and phone packages. And then I'd be really grateful if you could support the channel so on YouTube subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. If you did find this video useful do hit the like button please and drop me a comment if you've got any other suggestions for topics you'd like to cover. Uh, there's the Patreon support option where there are 18 VIP patron slots available. And also, if you do want an account with Hypercharts, I've got a referral link for that as well, where you can see some very clearly presented uh, investor information for the, for the largest US companies. So thank you very much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.